You welcome back. This is Breakfast Daily here on City TV. So from the Western region, let's go all the way to the Volta region. This time around for something quite welcoming. You know, the Volta region is blessed with a lot of tourist sites. Now, I've been one person who has always had issues, you know, with how we maintain our tourist facilities. It's it's sometimes very embarrassing that we moved with people, sometimes foreigners, you know, and even our own people. You get the places of convenience become a problem. Good restaurants become a problem I don't even want to go to accommodation now the road to these places are also another story altogether but this time around we have an addition to the many tourist sites that we have in the Volta region quite a good one it means that we are ready you know for Christmas and um, tourism especially domestic tourism here in our country so much activities can be happening we have a report put together by our regional correspondent Benjamin Aklama let's take a look at this report when we come back we'll get more insight into this the 1.5 million Ghana City Canopy Walk is not just intended to add to the beauty of the Otu Fall and Canopy Walk, but also to protect some animals, some reptiles and amphibians that, according to experts, have the potential to prevent malaria and also provide a cure to HIV AIDS. Well, this initiative is as a result of uh, conservation. Okay, so there are some endemic trees uh, and frog species that are in this forest that you cannot find anywhere else in the world. Uh, and they were being eaten and destroyed uh, by the communities. So we came together to protect the forest and to protect this unique wildlife species and to be able to support you know, the community and their livelihood for giving up land for conservation, we decided to invest in this ecotourism project. This is the most adventurous uh, and the one that gives you uh, a very close experience with a waterfall. There is the Kintampo waterfall, which is way at the other side of uh, Kintampo Canopy Walkway, which is way at the other side of the waterfall. But this is the one that gives you the, you know, close proximity to actually be sprinkled or, you know, be even immersed in, in sometimes in, in water. So I think it's quite unique and very adventurous. And what's so special about it also, as you can see, that you have this um, waterfall view and actually experience of getting sprinkled. And then you have the forest view. So you get bits of kakum and then you get something else that you can't find anywhere else. So. Some patrons of the Ote Fall through Canopy Walk have been sharing their experiences with us. Tell me your name. I'm Ronald. Ronald what? Promising team, sir. Okay. Is this your first time here? Yeah, this is my first time. How's the feeling like? Oh, I love it. I like the fall. Uh, so far, I've, never been, I've been soaking wet in it, so I think it's a good feeling. What will be your message to those who have not uh, visited this place yet? Oh, I'll tell them this Christmas is the, the perfect time for them to come. You should come and enjoy the, the water. It's, it's, very, it's very chilled, very, very cold. You should come and enjoy the water and then try and walk on the, on the, on the, on the, on the canopy world to, to have an experience. You know, we are trying to promote tourism and I think this is the, the perfect time for us to, to, to be able to experience and then share Ghana, take pictures and then post them on, on social media for other people to see it and then also come and enjoy. It's just a beautiful artwork mm -hmm. and, and I'm so glad to be here because not all the time that I will be traveling from here to Cape Coast to witness this. That region, we have the best of the best tourist sites. So this canopy walk over the Wote Falls here in Abajofe is uh, another addition to the several tourist activities uh, to be done here in the Volta region. From the beaches to the mountains, the monkey sanctuaries, the scenic farms, the caves and all, I mean, what have you, several other things to do. But there are two more things we desire. A zip line and some uh, paragliding from atop one of our very beautiful mountains will be a, a very, very worthy addition to the tourism bouquet in the Volta region. But for now, there is one more beautiful thing to do: is to walk on this canopy and experience the waterfalls. Well, so that is some beautiful news coming in. This has happened all the way in the Volta region. Now we've been joined by our regional correspondent, Benjamin Aklama. Thank you very much for your time, Aklama. Uh, my pleasure, Prima. Right, so tell us much more about this canopy walkway. Where exactly in Volta region can we find this? So this uh, new canopy walk is at uh, a major fair in the Volta region. And we uh, can find uh, the Kenny Mountain and the Uti Falls. So the canopy walk has been constructed in the valley where the Ochi Fall runs into. And that gives you a very 
beautiful view of the waterfall while walking across the, the canopy walk. Now, how have residents and tourists in general received this? Well, I've been there three times already after the launch. Um, every day I go, I see a new set of people. Uh, I see pictures on uh, social media being posted by uh, those managing the facility. Uh, you see that there is a, a lot of enthusiasm around it. People are getting very excited about it. And it's also quite a height. You need to walk down about 259 staircases to access the canopy walk and climb back up. So it, it's, a, it's a mixed bag of activity, the hike down and back up and the pleasure of of experiencing the waterfall and, and being, being watered by the waterfall while you are still walking on the canopy walk. It's a very beautiful experience. The schools are throwing in there. Uh, last Saturday, the Rotary Club of, of Wahoo, alongside Rotary Club uh, across Africa, the meeting with who were there as well. So uh, it, it, it's building a lot of enthusiasm among the youth, especially. Now, Aklama, let's look at um, other ancillary services that would be required, you know, when people want to visit um, this site. Now, what is accommodation like? Do we have uh, proper rest areas? Do we have restaurants around? So when people want to come in and spend, let's say, the whole weekend, how easy is this going to be for them? So man, let, me, let me expand the conversation a little bit to you on Amadjo, and then zero back in on Amadjo. So, I mean, in the Volta region is expanding in terms of tourism, especially mm -hmm. along the coast, the coast line where uh, the, the sea leaves a very beautiful and clean and serene beach along, along the southern belt of the region where a lot of hotel accommodations are springing up. And the good thing about the Volta region is that uh, there is not much traffic. And so within two hours, we're able to crisscross the region. I mean, we have very good vehicles. Uh, save for some areas that there are pretty bad roads, you are able to do a lot of things within the region. So you are not obliged to necessarily go and stay in and just stay itself to explore the region. Okay. But that, that equally is a very great place to, to visit and explore two or three things with, mm. with very little stress. So if you get some Japan, there is a place called Aperica, one of the oldest uh, hotel facilities in that area. And it is a, the only hotel on the highest human settlement in, 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 in Ghana. Mm. And if you experience, like, once you climb up the mountain uh, to get it some Japan, you see the climate changes. I mean, the, the, the atmosphere feels totally different from, uh, from uh, uh, the, the valley. And you could live there for, for quite some time. It's a very pleasant experience from there. There's also another rest stop uh, between uh, Yakbak and, uh, and the Fume, which is also very close to the area that you can, you can easily access. The other thing they try to do is to keep the natural feel of the area. Mm -hmm. So you go and, and integrate the people, you hear them speak their local language, the way Wali Kwai to mean thank you, or Matere Kerima Mapandu, yes, 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 to mean that many clients get here and take Pandu from there. All of that gives you a certain natural feel of the society and, and the environment. So it's not very artificial. It's, it's a bit more natural, which mm. is very pleasant as well. Right. Now, in terms of economic boost, what does this mean to the people of Amejope and, by large, Volta region? My understanding is that this is a partnership between the community, the assembly, and an NGO that is protecting amphibians uh, uh, that are endangered species. My understanding as well is that a part of the, the return from this kind of work goes to the community. My belief is this would go a long way to support development mm. in the area. Mm. One of the things that remains uh, very bad in the area is the road that leads to the place. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's very difficult to access the, the canopy walk itself from the town. The, the road is tied all the way in front of it, but to get to the canopy walk, uh, about, about a kilometer stretch, is in quite a terrible, terrible state. So people prefer to park their vehicles in town and uh, walk the stretch, which is, which is quite a distance. So mm -hmm. I believe that the returns from there would go into, uh, you know, refurbishing some of those roads and developing the area, area largely. But I'm also looking for support coming from elsewhere. The other things we could do in the area, I am still wondering why nobody has yet invested in a zip line on all the small mountains we have in the border region, or some paragliding experience, mm -hmm. say, from, from uh, uh, Fajato to Amejope right down into a valley somewhere. So uh, this, I think, is a good one that would clear a lot more things that, that would develop the tourism in the area and in turn develop the community. Right. Thank you very much, Benjamin. You're welcome. Thank you. You know what I'm very excited about this this <laughs> um, new tourist site. Mm -hmm. You know, March is just around the corner. Yeah. You know, we've activated Heritage Caravan mm -hmm. 2023. Yeah. And this year we'll go to Volta Region. Right. 
And so on my own behalf and on behalf <laughs> of patrons, I think we should go and experience yeah, the kind yeah, of walkway. Yeah. I mean, it's very new, looks mm -hmm. very firm, very strong. Yeah. And I think we should be one of the yeah. people, you know, to enjoy it in its very early Initial stages. Exactly, yeah, I mean, exactly. <laughs> we need I mean, this. We are always looking for new places, new experiences, and new uh, tourist sites. It's not like, I mean, we've always been going to exciting and interesting places. Yeah. Uh, since the inception of the heritage caravan, we're definitely going to go to the Volta region. I mean, there's conversation yeah, I want, around that. I want to that. climb. Uh, uh, whether the, we're the, going to a major fair, we, we do. <laughs> no, uh, please, who we'll make things happen for heritage caravan? Let's go to a major fair. We have mm. to go on this hike. I, I really yeah. want to climb there because yeah. I've done um, the Kintampo mm -hmm. canopy walkway. Yeah. I've done Kakum canopy yeah. walkway. No, I want to give myself a certain mm -hmm. certificate. You okay. know, that I have done all the kind of... So I'm, I'm here to go on this walk, one. It's very walk, new. Walkway ambassador. I, I, I want to be that, you know, self-acclaimed ambassador for walkways. <laughs> but I think it's, it's beautiful. It's yeah. fantastic. And um, this is very welcoming. Mm. You know, sometimes we are always bashing GTA for mm. not making sure we have um, our turret size in, in, yeah. in, in good shape. And I always also say that, you know, I have gone around Ghana, mm. you know, so I, I can speak on authority when it comes yeah. to issues like this. We have beautiful tourist sites. Every do. community has something to offer. We now, I think do. that this is one way that we can mm. generate money yeah. for the country. We always don't have to go outside and Involve. we just don't have to yeah. look at yeah. specific areas, you know, to mm. generate income. There are a lot of ways we can do it. Look, for from cultural mm -hmm. um, um, activities mm. to tourist sites mm. to all these, we have so much all. to give the world. Yeah. And this is our competitive advantage because we it only is. have one major pair in the world. World. Yeah. We only have one Kintampo waterfalls in the world. That's Why true. are we not, you know, developing these areas to attract mm. more people? We talk about um, beyond the return, mm -hmm. um, all yeah. these things. A lot mm. of um, at Christmas in Ghana. A lot of visitors are coming in. Mm -hmm. Where would they go? Where should they go? I think we need to be deliberate yeah. about some of these things and push Ghana on the world map. map. Yeah, and it's beautiful that new things like this are coming up because there are those who may have experienced the country in one way from exactly. or the other yes. and are looking for new experiences. Mm -hmm. So we should be discovering more sites. Listen, there, there are so many hidden uh, uh, um, tourist sites, tourist so experiences many. that we are yet to discover in this country. Uh, we, we, somebody should just catalog these, mm -hmm. right? And I mean, it, it wouldn't take much to make these places easily accessible. Exactly. The biggest challenge we have for tourism in Ghana is the kind of access routes we have to these places mostly bad roads, Very. mostly bad roads, yeah. and that is where we have a problem. But aside that, beautiful tourist mm. sites, wonderful experiences. I mean, just look at what we just saw in, in this clip. You're on the walkway and then the, the, the waterfall, you're getting sprinkled. Yeah, you, know, you can imagine, so imagine on a, so a really sunny day. Yeah. You're just on the walkway, Charlie. I mean taking your pool and then you are getting these little showers from the waterfall. You can just imagine the experience. Absolutely mm -hmm, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. of course. So I think we should do more to improve our tourist sites and also expose the others. Mm -hmm. Because they are, I'm mm -hmm. sure the GTA has an entire dozy of tourist sites in this country a that lot. people don't even know a, and don't oh, yes, patronize. Yes, yes. But anyway, let's go on the phone line and talk to Dr. Caleb Ofori Boateng. He's founder and board member for HEP Ghana. Thank you very much for your time, Doctor. Well, thank you for having me. Right, so um, congratulations on this uh, great achievement and the canopy walkway, very beautiful. But how safe and secure is this? Because we've had uh, an accident in this area before. Yes, um, thank you very much. Um, you know, proud to put in this engineering piece together. We have to go through a uh, lot of processes. Um, and uh, having secured all the tenants, it's a proof that uh, it is really secure. And uh, we have some of the best engineers that put this uh, masterpiece. And it has actually been built way over the capacity. So it is an extremely safe uh, facility to use. Um, tourists should not be worried about it at all. Fantastic. Now, how long did it take you to do this? Well, it took uh, approximately three years to do it. Um, 
And the reason was that it was very challenging bringing uh, those materials down there to the mm. waterfall. Mm. Uh, and of course, it was a hugely expensive project as well. So, uh, yeah, but we are so happy that it's done now and mm. people can enjoy it. And the reason for which we built it uh, would hopefully also be achieved. Mm. Now, is this your first project in tourism or you've been doing this or you are also starting with this, hoping to do many more? Well, this is our first project in tourism, but we have great plans, particularly for the region. But in the past, we've invested heavily on conservation as well. As you know, Help Ghana is a conservation uh, non-profit, mm -hmm. and we mainly work with local communities to protect endangered wildlife and forests. And in the past, we've invested heavily in this area. Ecotourism, as you see in this kind of work, where is a way to be able to work um, work with communities in a way that benefits them as well in which case we guarantee the long-term survival of the project itself right now when are you coming to my home region ashanti uh, actually we have our head office in ashanti okay i speak to you today from our head office in kumasi in uh, jisokrapa so we, we we look forward to investing across the country but as i said we are mostly driven by the conservation value of the site so mm. If you have a site that has endangered species that could be saved for the world, then yes, we will be there in the earliest possible time. Well, I'll send you my proposal. Yes, please do. <laughs> we, we actually look for partnership. Right, so, yeah. right. Thank you very much, Doctor. And once again, Ghana is um, grateful to you for this project. Well, thank you so much for helping us market this. Right. Um, so we've been talking to Dr. Kele Bofori Boating, who is the founder and board member for HEP Ghana. They are that uh, private institution that collaborated on this project. Mm -hmm. We've been also joined in the studio by Director Corporate Affairs for the Ghana Tourism Authority, Jones Nelson. Jones, welcome to Breakfast Daily. Thank you very much. You Good should morning, be very sir. happy. Yes, very happy. <laughs> yeah, you've been mm -hmm. smiling and nodding yeah. throughout. Yeah. 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 But yeah. what does this mean um, to GTA? Mm. Yeah, it means a lot because, uh, um, you know, tourism is multi-sectorial. First mm -hmm. of all, I would like to give a shout out to the Minister of Tourism, Dr. Uh, Ibrahim Mohamed mm -hmm. Awal, uh, Mr. Akwesi Ajima, my CEO, and the other tourism practitioners in mm -hmm. the country. Uh, it is a great initiative. Uh, it means a lot to us. Um, we keep saying that uh, tourism is the government, you know, uh, public sector led, mm -hmm. private sector driven. Mm -hmm. And this is a private sector initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, it comes together with a collaboration with the community, the district assembly, the traditional council, um, and then the developer himself. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the owners of the land. You know, mm -hmm. The land that uh, the canopy has been built on mm -hmm. belongs to people. They used to farm on it. Right. And uh, Dr. Caleb is a, con a conservationist. Mm -hmm. And uh, this project is an mm -hmm. ecotourism project where we have the f uh, fauna and the flora there. And uh, it's going to bring a lot to the community. I, I get the information that it has employed about 90% plus people of the mm -hmm. community there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it is a good thing. It is going to... Uh, the youth, for instance, are going to cash mm. in. It's going to bring development to the area, the arts and crafts and all those things. Mm. Mm. Uh, but the major thing is that there is this uh, frog called the whistle frog. Mm -hmm. And okay. then the other amphibians, mm. they live there. And Dr. Caleb did a research and realized that these uh, animals, reptiles and amphib mm. amphibians are getting extinct. Right. But he gathered information that we have them in that forest, the Mount Demi okay. forest. So he decided to bring about this um, mm -hmm. canopy walkway mm -hmm. and added on uh, Mount Gemi is I think the second highest mountain mm -hmm. if you if you recover and then yeah. we have the serene environment and all that so it's going to boost the economy and it's going to bring about development in the uh, 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 area but 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 um, Jones how is GTA positioning itself sure, sure okay sure. to further open sure. the way for other private institutions to come in, private individuals who want sure. to do so much to be able mm. to do this? Yeah, there, there, there are a lot of projects going on. If you realize, um, I don't know, uh, the first one, Kintampo, mm -hmm. uh, Tafi Atome, yeah. Picoro, uh, a host of them. What is happening at Picoro? Picoro, the, we build, build the, the slave, the, slave? Uh, the, yeah. the receptive yeah. facility and all that. So GT has collaborated with the World Bank and the other private sector. Uh, bringing about development projects mm -hmm. in terms of tourism. You know, the tourism, uh, the act, 
the act on size and attraction, mm -hmm. LI 2393 has yeah. been passed. So it mandates us to collaborate, come together, MOUs, to be able to develop sites and attractions in mm. the country. In terms of the rules, let me just veer there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we collaborate with a lot of That's agencies. That's our biggest Yeah, roads and transport <laughs> yeah. and all that. Um, yeah. Even the Ministry of Finance, because mm. we need cash, uh, the district yeah. assemblies and all that. There is an ongoing project. It's behind the scenes, uh, except mm. that Freeman has not seen it. So well, we'll, I want we'll to hear. see it. Yeah, you mm. need to see it, mm -hmm. and you see it. Um, there is a collaboration going on as I speak now mm -hmm. uh, between the district assemblies and all to be able to get accessibility. Okay. If you talk about tourism, uh, the most important thing is accessibility. How right. do you get there? Yeah. And it is very important and it's very mm -hmm. key. So GTA yeah. is in a position to help. Like I'm saying that there has been a number mm -hmm. of MOU mm -hmm. ongoing now, right. ongoing projects. So this is one of the projects that was behind the scenes that okay. Freema didn't see. Now Freema <laughs> has seen it. And I'm happy. Yes, yeah, we are all happy. happy. Yeah. So you, 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 you mentioned that um, <laughs> tourism development is multi-sectoral. Sure, sure, sure. Right. So, so it cuts across. Exactly. Across. Mm -hmm. So Agreed. we need those no. who are putting yeah. the infrastructure on. Sure, we need sure. those who mm -hmm. are driving it. Sure. And those who are carrying tourists to these sites, sure. that is where Heritage Caravan comes in. You see, and, and of course, City, FM, City TV, you have been yeah. helping a lot. And so we need the media as well to be able to no, tell the story. No, put us on your budget. Don't worry, Freema. <laughs> don't, don't, don't just Freema, say that Freema, GTA supports uh, it. Freema, no, you, are, you are part of GTA. You are not a guest in GTA. So, uh, we, no, we are, I say it, you are, the people are watching, they will say that. Uh, no, no, not at all, not at all. We've been talking this around this. Yeah. <laughs> we this exactly. Yeah, so yeah. Put, put, put it across. Yes, it's a, it's a good initiative. Mm. You've been doing well. And we keep saying it. When yeah. you travel across, people mention city and all that. The caravan, people don't yeah. forget. And then this uh, taste of Ghana. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, it's a bring more, more, no, more. The taste of Ghana is GIP. G yeah, yeah, by collaboration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. So it is a good initiative, and uh, yeah, but we have the back to you. We have village back to your food village food bazaar. You remember okay. the, 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 the food bazaar? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This is Ghana exhibition. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so we are doing everything. Mm. Sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, so, so, so now um, Heritage Caravan is happening mm -hmm. 2023. Yeah. Yes. And I really in March, right? It, yeah, yeah, in March. Okay, that's that's our heritage month. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I really, we are going to Volta region. And I really, are you going to Volta alone? No, Volta is oh, part no, of the, 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 oh, no, the region. Oh, no, it's part of the region. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, so Volta is part of sure. the places that we will go. Uh -huh. Now, you've given us a reason to go to Amejope. Mm -hmm. You know, now there's a beautiful yeah. attraction yes. for us to move mm -hmm. in that area as well. So yeah. I think that there should be that proper collaboration sure. you know, sure. yeah. to, to do course. this. Yes, yeah. certainly. Yeah. So, so, but, but then for the GTA, I mean, how are you positioning yourself to take advantage of some of these developments like yes. what we are seeing at Amajope yes. to really promote tourism, especially domestically? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Uh, so like, like we are all saying, uh, this thing has been put there. Now, accessibility in terms mm -hmm. of uh, infrastructure mm -hmm. or let me say superstructure, the roads, the mm -hmm. electricity and all that. So right. like I'm saying that we collaborate with mm -hmm. agencies and we have our regional directors across the regions mm. so they li they liaise with the district assemblies mm. to ensure that all these things come come to play right. so there is something going on behind the scenes awesome mm. yes. now tomorrow is first december sure now you are telling everybody <laughs> to come to ghana you yes. know for christmas yeah what is the lineup what are people coming to experience okay um Freeman, we, we've uh, endorsed about gta in collaboration with the beyond the return okay. under the auspices mm. of the ministry of tourism arts and culture uh, we've uh, outdoored about 99 plus events that is mm. happening. Do you have them? Yeah, I have. I yes, have some of them. Yeah, you have yes. some of the events started yeah. even late November yeah. and all yeah. that. No, situation is on. Sure, yeah. sure. On 24th, yeah. So sure, sure. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I keep yes. hearing. I'll be there. <laughs> no, you should be there. <laughs> so come and dance. <laughs> <laughs> no, the pressure is too bad. We won't bring cameras there. Situation is yeah. no cameras. No come and dance yourself. <laughs> But, but apart from situation, what mm. is happening on the 24th yeah. of December mm -hmm. at La Palme at exactly 8 p.m., just get mm. your white outfit and be part of it. What else are we looking at? A lot of, uh, and I know tomorrow is um, Nubia mm. Noel. Yeah, Nubia it's Noel. also on yes. your yes. calendar as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, a host of them, Habana, Afrochella, mm. Afro Nation, and a host of them. Mm. That's why I'm saying that about 99, mm. I cannot mention them. Exactly. Here, but yeah. uh, I don't know whether you have it to project it or whatever. But yeah, we, we, we've, we've shared so, it uh, across the yeah, board. Yeah, we have it. So, uh, you know, this is the third year for December in GH. In 2019, when we had a year of return, we realized that uh, a lot of families, a lot of people come for VFR, mm -hmm. visit, visiting friends and relatives. Yeah. And uh, if we take advantage of that, we are going to cash in. Uh, people are going to come. We are going to increase the numbers. Mm -hmm. We are going to uh, increase the GDP of the economy through tourism. 
and like I said, uh, people will be selling their artifacts, their food, their cuisine, their preparation, their planting, their yeah. inkati, and all those things. And uh, we started from there. And this time round, we, we are strengthening partnerships. Mm -hmm. We've met with a lot of stakeholders. As I speak now, there's an uh, ongoing you know, a stakeholder engagement mm -hmm. to be able to wrap up, and then we take off from there. We've met event vendors, event organizers, the security services, the you know, allies for mm -hmm. trying to fly to be able to bring people in oh, wow. during the yeah, December in GH and okay. at a reduced rate. Mm -hmm. The hotels, the restaurants, and all those uh, tourism agencies mm -hmm. have been spoken to. We are going to give discounts and all those things to people to be able to come for the events. And then, in terms of security, we are safe. We invited the security services and we met. We've had mm -hmm. a number of stakeholder engagements. So this time round, this is the third year, is going to be perfect. When a child is born, start crawling, start mm -hmm. standing, start walking. Now yeah. you can walk strongly. Yeah. So this is the third year. Mm -hmm. And uh, with your support, support mm -hmm. of the media, especially City TV, City FM, we are on top. And mm -hmm. this soon, soon will be running. Yes, we'll be <laughs> running. We'll be flying. Yes, we'll be flying. <laughs> right, so quickly before you take leave of us, mm -hmm. what kind of assurances um, can you give as mm -hmm. GTA to uh, private institutions, individuals yeah. who are watching us mm -hmm. in terms of expansion of tourism in Ghana? Sure. So the, our doors are always opened. Uh, we are a state agency uh, responsible for marketing and promotion of tourism. And we mm -hmm. cannot do it all alone. And like I said, it is... Uh, public sector led, private sector dri driven. So our doors are open for proposals and all that. We keep receiving some, as I speak now, people are still adding up mm. the events. Mm. <laughs> and we have to give them the chance to yeah. come on board. I mean, the, the events, I'm particularly interested in what exactly it is that you offer from your end. Is it just that you put your name on it, that this just is a beyond the return mm, no. event? Or are you making inputs into the organization? Sure, structure? sure. We are making input in terms of uh, yes. how they organize so it, their security, their venues, yes, the and all that. And uh, we are saying that uh, they need to come on board fully. We need mm. to know what they are doing. So mm. We have this steering committee that scrutinizes the, the kind of mm, event you event. want to offer. Yeah. Uh -huh. So m basically, it's about entertainment, mm -hmm. music, and all that. Yeah. You know, there's one thing in tourism called eclectic experience. Mm -hmm. When you visit a destination after your site and all those things, you need to have an experience, an entertainment experience, right. like the arts and the theaters and all that. Yeah, yeah. So that is called yeah. the eclectic experience. And mm -hmm. Dizema in GH, mm -hmm. you know, is one of the uh, events mm -hmm. that I can put yeah. I can say that it is one of the eclectic experience mm. so that when you go that kind of experience still remain yeah I remember in Japan we w went for uh, this uh, theater about mm. samurai and all those mm. things it mm. still remains dead yeah. since 2012 yeah. that is the only thing I remember yeah, I hope you didn't draw a sword <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. that's the only <laughs> thing no, I, remember. No, I, I can remember and, and, because and it helps a lot you know this year we were at red clay in Tamale yeah. mm -hmm. and any day, any time, I really yeah. want to go back. You see? You know, because it was it's a beautiful. fantastic yeah. experience. Yeah, I don't sure. know if GTA is doing anything with Red Clay in yeah. Tamale, but Brahim I really Mama. think that yes, you guys uh -huh. need yes, to yes. do a lot. You know, for instance, there can be an event where that is exactly. where it's happening. People sure. should be able to fly yeah. to Tamale. Because yes. if people are flying outside well, Ghana see, that's to the country... That's why I was country, driving out with my question about yeah. your input. Yes. If you're able to get them to understand why they need to move some of these events, yes. which are mostly in Accra. Yes. Oh, do this year, it's not mostly in Accra. To some mm -hmm. of these are tourist yeah. sites, sure, yeah. sure. provide enough security, lighting and everything. everything. Yes. Yeah. Then, of course, we are selling those sites yes. and the events. Ex well. Exactly because so Accra, I'm saying. Uh, Ghana is mm. not Accra. No, no, exactly. not at all. Yeah. Uh, I, I know you are aware of uh, uh, Jirapa, Dubai. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Now you can Very, fly from Accra yes. to uh, Wa, mm -hmm. one or 30 yeah. minutes. Yeah. You are yeah. there. Or less. Yeah. So that is what we are doing. My, now. Only, my only worry is why it's called Japa Dubai. <laughs> 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 you know, you could have But 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 okay. Take so the Dubai away, name Japa yeah, International. Yeah, you know, okay, yeah. that's yeah. right. International. One thing that I also <laughs> want to find out: Does um, mm. beyond the retained secretariat give money? Mm -hmm. Do you give money to Do you give these events, support? organizers, uh, and uh, all that? It, yeah. it, it is, uh, we technical. give support, the technical support. Mm. Okay. We but give technical support. Cash? No, it's not cash. Okay. We give the technical support. But when will support. you add the cash to it? Uh, so let's see how it goes. Uh, now that we have, <laughs> we have started, uh, we are trying to trot mm. and run and all that. Let's see how it goes. Uh, you know, the World Bank project is also there, mm. trying to help people to be able to come up. Mm. with events and all that so i think that uh, it is a, a step in the right direction of if we should get is. there right. yes yes <laughs> right so thank you very much um director corporate affairs gta jones nelson thank you for your thank time thank you so much as all well all right nice. this is breakfast daily we'll be right back